There we go. Yes. That's it. That's how we're gonna start the video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, today I'm with Glenn Fricker. How's it going? All right, fist bump. We wanted to do something interesting. We wanted to take, since we're at Tallman, check out all the Harley Benton cabinets. Yeah. Um, so what we got here are we've got four different Harley Benton cabinets and they're all loaded up with the Celestian Vintage 30s, which are real vintage 30s. It's the same vintage 30 you're gonna find in cabinets all over the world, everything pretty much except like Mesa, the Mesa cabs, which have a very special Vintage 30. Yeah, there's this different. And and really, this is what kind of prompted this, so you guys know. Uh, a couple things. Same mics, same recording rig, approximately same type positions on all the speakers, right? We're, we're trying anyway. This yeah. one might be a little wonky, but yeah. we've got the 2x12 way in the back here as right. well. I'm getting out of the shot. Yeah. So what do we got right now? I think we're at a 2x12. Can you place? And then if we switch over to say, what is that? Is that the four by twelve over there? And let's go over to the two by twelve vertical. Let's go over to the one by twelve. What's interesting is how dynamically different they are. Yes. And so I have a question for you because I obviously we can't. I'm not going to hear the post of this until afterwards. No. Do you think w recording wise they're going to sound different to the audience? Are they going to hear the same thing because the speaker's the same, the mic's the same? No, no, no. They're totally going to hear something different because each cabinet you're going to get a very different sound. <laughs> Out of all of them, I'm really digging this this vertical two by twelve. The, the vertical two twelve is really crazy considering that it's a it's a really deep sounding cab. Even though this is like twice the size, yeah, it's not quite. This is more like two. I mean, this is more like this looks like two thirds of that cabinet. Yeah, to be honest with you. but it just it just has a, a deeper voicing to it, which is really really freaking cool. Let's hear that. <laughs> beef to it and here's the thing they're not just straight up and down they're in a, like an x pattern yeah so there's one here and one here on this side so you got kind of like this void here which it's just kind of you know resonating and just adding to the girth whereas this is just chopped full of speakers right i mean so this is actually a deeper sounding cabinet even though it's got less speakers but volume wise hit this go from there and i meant to do that to that. Now that strikes me as a beef, as a brighter cabinet. It's definitely louder, but this has definitely got more beef to it. I'm, I'm yeah. pretty impressed. I hear mids. Mm -hmm. So I, hear, I feel my low, I feel my pant move with the low end. I hear mids. This is the V scoop to me. This is yeah. the highs and lows, which would be great in a, in a live setting because you feel it. Sure. But I, I definitely prefer that cabinet. I'm, I'm kind of shocked, to be honest with you. That, that, that's a really badass cab. All right. Well, on that note, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Glenn, for joining us. Oh, thank you very much for having me. And thank you to Tolman for making experience like this happen. And as always, guys, thank you. Until next time, know your gear. Figure out why they sound different, even though we're really just miking the speaker. Right. right? Talk to Fido. <laughs> <laughs> 112 Harley Benton cabinet, 212 horizontal. 412, 212, uh, 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 no, this that was is vertical. vertical. Yeah, 212 horizontal. He is a bass player. Yeah, I am a bass player. But here's the, here's the crazy thing for the home studio guy.